this is Lisa from CoochieCoochieCoo.com. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a very simple cloak with a hood. It's great for Halloween or just everyday dress up. You're going to need a big piece of black fabric. This is just a really cheap polyester lining. Um, it's very inexpensive, so this will be a really cheap project. In addition, um, you can use my free circle skirt template. Um, you can download this for free at coochiecoochiecoo.com. It's not totally necessary, but it might help you in lining up your fabric. In addition, you will definitely need a flexible measuring tape, fabric scissors, something to mark the fabric with. Um, I'm using white chalk. You can use this classic white chalk, or you can use a powdered chalk roller, which is what I personally prefer. You will need pins, and black thread and sewing needles for your sewing machine. I'm using 80 size because this fabric is sort of on the light side. Use whatever needle is right for your fabric. Let's get started. Let's first take our measurements. First, you need to measure around the neck. In this case, it's 35 centimeters. Then you need to measure from the neck how long you want your cloak to be. I want mine to be pretty long, about to knee length. So in our case, that was 90 centimeters from the neck to the bottom of the cloak. All right, now let's take the neck circumference. 35, let's divide it by six. This isn't perfect math, but we need the radius and this is pretty simple. Um, this is more or less six centimeters. It's not exactly, but we'll round. Okay, so this is our radius for the neck hole. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's add the length of the cape, so that's plus 90 centimeters. And also let's add one centimeter for our seam allowance. Um, six plus 90 plus one, 97 centimeters. Okay, this is our second measurement that we need. Now let's imagine that we have a piece of fabric. We're going to fold it over. Um, let's do right sides facing so that we'll be drawing on the wrong side of the fabric. First, let's take our neck radius. That's six centimeters. So we're going to measure six centimeters in both directions like this. And we're going to join them like that. Then 97 centimeters. You can either do 90, 91 from this point here like this, but I find it easier to measure from the point. So 97 centimeters would be from here down to here. This obviously isn't to scale, but you understand. From here to here, we'll say 97 centimeters. And again, join them like this. Once you've made the lines, you're going to cut along those lines like that. That'll make a semicircle. Then you're going to take the fabric, fold it again, and do the same thing so that you have two semicircles. Lay out your fabric with a fold on one side and lining up the two um, selvages up here. If you want, you can put pins along the side to help keep it in place, which is what I did. Remember, the fabric is going to be right sides facing, so the wrong side is out where we're going to be marking. Remember also to make it long enough to fit in the total length of the cloak from the very point to the bottom. In my case, it was 97 centimeters, so I put about 100 centimeters or a meter, just to be sure. If you want some help, you can use the um, circle skirt template like I mentioned before. So you can put it up like this. This side is going to be right on the fold. This side is going to be one centimeter away from the edge because we're going to have to sew that edge down. So if you want to use the template, pin it in place. Now let's take our first measurement, which is the neck radius. In our case, it's six centimeters. So you're going to use your measuring tape, put the zero at the point and move it around, marking your six centimeters on the fabric. Once you've made the marks, join the, the little dots. Now let's move on to the length of the cloak. Remember ours is 97 centimeters. So again, from the very point here, the zero is going to be here and we're going to go 97 meters and do the same thing. Measuring, making marks, 
moving this down like this and then joining the marks. Once you've got your neck and your bottom marked, let's cut out along the two lines. After you've cut out the first cape, put it on top of the folded fabric again, pin it together and then cut out again around the fabric. Here we have the two folds and here we have the four layers of the selvage. Then unpin the layers. After you've unpinned the two pieces, place them right sides facing along one of the selvages and pin them together all the way down. Okay, I've sewn down this whole side here with a straight stitch. Because I cut this on the selvages, there's no need to finish off the edges. If for whatever reason you didn't cut on the selvage, make sure you sew a zigzag over the raw edges or use an overlocker. Now we've got our cape sewn together in the center seam here. Now to do the hood piece, we're going to need to measure around half of the hood's neck opening. So take your measuring tape, put a zero at the seam, and then move your way around. Kind of hold it, pivot, hold it, pivot, hold it, pivot, hold it, pivot, more or less, and we've got 24. So now draft out your hood piece. Remember we had 24, so let's add one centimeter for seam allowance. This goes down across the bottom. Um, about 50 centimeters is pretty good from the shoulder to the top of the head. Add one centimeter for seam allowance. This goes up. Draw a rectangle, then to make the curve, simply put a plate. Just line up the edges with the top edge and the side edge and trace around for a perfect curve. Now, cut out along the fabric. We have our fabric folded here, right sides together. It's all pinned on. Cut all around the pattern piece, then sew from up here all the way down to the bottom here with a one centimeter seam allowance. Because our fabric does fray and we're not cutting on the selvage, you will also have to do a zigzag around the edges, along the fabric edges, or use your overlocker. Lay out your cape piece right side up with your seam right in the center. Then take your sewn hood piece, take the bottom part, right, um, right side down, and match up the two center seams and pin them together. Once you've pinned these, go around pinning the rest of the, ca the cape to the hood. Now that you've got it all pinned together, sew all around the curve. And if your fabric is a fraying fabric like mine is, you can see it's already fraying here. Make sure you also do a zigzag or an overlock stitch around the cut edges. And here you can see the hood attached to the cape here. I have done a straight stitch and overlocked the edges to keep it from fraying. Here we have it. Notice that the center seam of the hood matches up with the center seam of the cape. Now all that's left to do is to finish off these raw edges if your fabric is a fraying fabric. You can either zigzag, fold over, and sew with a straight stitch to keep it all down, or you can do what I'm going to do and simply overlock around the entire edge. Um, the only part that actually does fray in my case because I have the selvages on either side here is around the hood and also at the bottom of the cape where it was cut. But just to make it all look the same, I'm simply going to go all around the entire edge with my overlocker. Once you've finished off all of the edges here, sew on a snap. I just used a sew on snap and I covered it up with a random button that looks kind of like a brooch. Now, pop on your brand new cape and have fun dressing up as a wizard, witch, superhero, or any other character. Or, why not make a red run for Little Red Riding Hood? Possibilities are endless. And, check out my video or blog to make a cape with a stand-up collar. Have fun!